Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here. And we are back in subsistence. Okay, guys, let's see. We need some food, I think. Yep. Let's go ahead and cook us up a couple of steaks. And we'll just do that. So anyway, today, 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 let's see, it will be Tuesday for y'all, Monday for me. Oh, some hunter's fighting something. Cool, awesome. Great. Take them out, bears. And wolves and whatever it is. It has to be a bear. That many shots has to. So anyway, it is another lovely morning. Let's go check on our food. Almost. Uh, let's see. What do we got going today? Got some wood last night. Made a handful of boards. Found a couple boxes. Had a few nails in it. So I think while we're waiting, I'm going to go ahead and build up two foundations. That way we still have a little bit of nails left for arrows or repairs if we need them. Go ahead and eat those two and then we'll just eat that kelp. Yeah, that should be good right there. Okay. So anyway, like I said, uh, we gathered up a little bit of wood and a couple boxes so we got a little bit of resources last night it feels as though it's a tad bit easier getting around at night now with that one hunter base pushed back i'm kind of it feels like a little bit of a relief now i don't know how long that relief is going to last and yeah, that's a deer it's been a while since we saw a deer we might have to go deer hunting this morning come on let me out let me out. Yeah, it has been a while since we've seen a deer. That is awesome. Now, we haven't hunted much deer, so... Oh, and of course, there's a bear right there. Of course. Ah, the deer's not in a good spot right now. I don't want to spook it. Oh, we spooked it. Uh, can I find my arrow? Because I didn't hear it break. There's another deer right there. No, not seeing my arrow. Ha! Okay, we got one hit on it. Let's follow it a little ways. Oh, you're going to stop right there by the bear, aren't you? Okay, so the bear spooked it. It is now crossing the river, I think. Oh, uh, we're in dangerous territory because we're between the bear and the hunter. There went the deer up there in that way. Okay, let's go this way. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I want to hunt the deer. I mean, I know we don't need the paste, but I do want to hunt it just to be able to hunt it, get some more antlers and all that good stuff for later on. Oh, speaking of paste, I was in the forums, and someone had asked about the issue we're having with our plant bed saying that they put blast roofs up and that they're only getting like 60 percent daylight and cold games responded with the roofs are not letting the sunlight through and that he meant to fix it but he i guess forgot or whatever reason may be he said it'll be in the next uh the next patch the next update 
So, yay, we'll get that fixed and our greenhouse will start working properly. Bad because, well, I don't know when that's going to be. Um, I mean, seriously, honestly, is it going to be three weeks before the next update comes out? Because, you know, we just got an update two weeks ago. So, I'm not expecting to see an update really anytime soon. I mean, I know it could happen, but the chances are of it happening are kind of low. Now, I don't know where this deer went. I still want to get the deer, but... I saw it run over here, it ran into that wolf, the wolf scared it. That's a bear right there. Of course it is, because I was sitting there thinking that if I was the deer and I got spooked by that wolf, I'd probably run up here into the hills a little bit. Which it could have, but then again it could have bounced off of another bear, like that one over there. and went a completely totally opposite different way I don't know do not know so anyway but yeah that was one of the things that cold games had uh, had responded to one of the other things was someone had asked about using the weapon saying that it was like shooting at a pin Oh, is that the deer? I think that's the deer. Aha! Oh, no, that's the kitty. Either way, haha. -ha. Kitty hunt. Oh. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it was, uh... The, I don't know exactly what they were getting at. But, oh, I got the rabies. Kitty, you weren't supposed to be rabid. Man, now I gotta go use my only antidote. <sighs> okay. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm not exactly sure what they were getting at. Because he said at first it was like shooting at a pin. And then they started, someone else had said, yeah, it's like pixelated when you shoot. And... Um, I don't really fully understand either one of those two terms. Now, Cold Games got on, and his response was, is that when you zoom in on a gun, like, say the shotgun, you know, we're aimed right here, we zoom in right there, that he does not decrease the, um, sensitivity of the mouse. And, of course, you know, there were people complaining Oh, well, I don't want to decrease my mouse sensitivity because I like to, you know, be able to look around real fast and all that while I'm running around. Okay. I understand you. Completely understand you. Okay, see, now that's when if you can't, if you don't like doing that, my suggestion is to get a mouse with a sniper button. And not a lot of people know about the sniper buttons on some mouses, some gaming mice actually have these. Little button right about where your thumb is. And I can kind of demonstrate for you. Uh, make sure we're in a safe spot. Okay, so anyway, we're zoomed in, we're moving around fast, fast, fast. I hit the sniper button and it decreases my DPS. I'm moving my mouse just as fast as I was a second ago, so I could still, you know, turn on a dime, but, you know, I press that button and I have better control of my aiming. You know, so for those of you who have that same issue, my suggestion would be to invest in a mouse. Um, yeah, so that's, that's my suggestion. I mean, you can get them fairly cheap. They're not, you know, you're not going to spend $300 on a mouse just to do, just to get that feature. You can get them much, much, much cheaper. And, you know, if I was being promoted to say this, I would give out brands and 
all that stuff. So unless you just want to know specifics, I'm not going to bother with it. So, but if you do want to know what mouse I use and all that stuff, yeah, just hit me up and I can tell you. I have no issue with that. But I'm not being paid to promote anyone's brands or anything like that. So, I'm just going to leave it there unless someone actually wants to know. Um, let's cook these steaks. And we'll drink our cure. What does it take to make another one of those antidotes? I don't know why I call them cures. I mean, it's an antidote, but, you know, whatever. Let's see, I need some of that. I need some of this, and I need some of that. I'm going to go ahead and make two of them. Just because. Put those back in there. So anyway, yeah, that's that's the thing. And Cold Games did address it, and he did say that he will look into uh, fixing it, I guess, quote unquote. Um, I don't see a whole lot wrong with it. Like I said, that's that's a feature that really doesn't bother me because like I said if I really want to I can just use my button on my mouse and ta-da I'm good I'm grand no issue so but you know some people don't have that some people I don't want to say can't afford it but a lot of people when it comes to spending extra money on like gaming mice or headphones or keyboards and stuff like that and eh, they don't want that they don't want to be professional setup they just want to you know come in and play the game and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that by no means guys is there anything wrong with that so let me see what else was there um ah another person had posted about hunter jackets Wondering if they were taken out of the loot of uh, the hunter bases. Cold Games has responded with, no, they are not. But the frequency of them has been changed. So they're no longer a common item. They are a rare item. So if you're looking for a hunter jacket... You're going to have to hit lots of hunter bases because you're just not going to get one just because, you know, you blew up one or two bases. You're going to have to put in a little bit more effort than that. So, and a couple people did say, you know, they did come across them and, you know, they have their own and all that kind of good stuff. So, yeah, you can still find them. Not a problem. There we go. I like that. That kind of... That brings it down a little bit. That narrows the area they can come and attack from. So that's cool. Uh, let's see. What do we got? We got... Well... You know, we got 42. Actually, let me... Let me make up two more foundations. We'll just go ahead and bring this down a little bit further. Um, I'm thinking we're probably going to end up bringing... See, I don't want to get too close to the wall because if we are, all they're going to do is sit on the other side of the wall and shoot at us. So what I probably need to start doing is... Mm, hold on, let me get another one of these a little bit lower. Probably right about there, we need to start coming back out so that we can maintain a little bit of a distance here. So, and I don't know, I've been thinking, you know, if I do it like this, can I get up on here? No, okay, I see what I did. I was thinking, you know, if I came out a little ways, would I be able to just take that piece out but because we got it slightly turned they might be able to fit through there I don't know don't really know but I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring it down to the river 
And I'm going to probably use these rocks right here as kind of a deterrent. And who knows, I might put a, uh, a claymore in between them and leave it open just like, you know, go on, run through here. Run through the water at me, see what happens. That might be a suggestion we might do. So, all right, let's see. Let me recap on things and see if we've covered everything. I covered the glass roofs. Okay. We covered the aiming. Okay. And we covered the hunter jackets. Okay. And that's really pretty much all that Cold Games has really responded to himself. So, which is cool. You know, that gives us a little bit of insight on more aspects of the game. Ooh, tomatoes. Get out of there, give me the tomato. So, you know, like I said, that's kind of cool. Other forum stuff, not a lot going on. Um, normal, same old drama every day. People being upset and offended at different things. And what am I doing? I don't... I was going to feed them those seeds. That would have been a mess up right there. Yep, that would have been a big mess up. But yeah, so, yeah, that's really the only thing else going on in the forums is people just getting upset by little... Well, I say by little things. Some things could be offensive to some people and other people are taking offense to people who are being offended and blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Everyday normal stuff. Nothing new. Nothing new. So, me personally, I'm just like, eh, whatever. You want to be rude and offensive to somebody, you go right ahead and do that. That is your prerogative. If that's what helps you sleep at night, then you go ahead and do it. Me, personally, I'm going to do me. And I'm going to do me differently than you do you, so that is fine. There we go. So, but yeah, no, it does lead to believe that if Cold Games has said, you know, he'll fix the thing in the next update, the glass, referring to the glass roofs. Um, sorry, guys, I kind of I kind of run things in my head and then just pop up on them. But, yeah, if he says it's going to be in the next update, I would like to assume that it's not going to be, like, an uber long time. But... Then again, don't ever quote me on anything like that because I don't know. Cuz really to me that sounds like that sounds like more of a hot fix issue. Oh, come on. We're going to do this again. Okay, we got to get air. Yep. Uh, but yeah, to me that seems like a hot fix issue, so I would like to say maybe we're going to get lucky and we'll have a small update. Maybe this week? I don't know. Like I said, don't quote me on anything, but any anyone who follows any sort of developers usually know that little things like that can almost all the time make it into a small update so I don't know he he might have a small update he might have a regular update he might have a big update there is no telling what he has in store because he is secretive he's like a little secret squirrel he doesn't tell anyone anything which once again that's you know that's cool That is cool. Because we don't need to get everybody stirred up and riled up on, you know, 
him not releasing information prior to releasing the update because yeah that's that's a whole nother storm in the brewing right there that is a whole nother storm the things I've seen the comments that I've read and the persistency of some of the people on that subject is one ridiculous two hilarious and three just uncalled for But yeah, that's people. That is people for you. One of those deals, one of those deals. All I do is report on what I see and what I do. Why is there always a bear down here? Is this your home, Mr. Bear? If so, Go find a new one. Yay, a few more nails. Hey, there's a deer. Well, we're finally finding deer again. At... I'm still going to try to shoot it. You know, I've been wondering, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying like I'm an expert with this bow or anything, but out of all of y'all who have played, has anybody ever gotten a headshot on a deer yet? And we miss, of course. I'm going to get this bag before going after that deer. He should be, he should be between the rock and the fence, so... I shouldn't have to worry about him running off too far. Arrow? Arrow? No, no arrow. Okay. Yeah, there he is right there. I mean, see, it's like right when I get, I get into a comfortable range that I'd want to aim for him, and he runs every time. So he is, in my opinion, right on the edge of my comfortable range which you know like I said I don't sit here and try to headshot every animal from a distance to begin with so you know that's not my deal all I am trying to do is kill me a deer well where'd he go Hmm, did he keep running? Or did he run down there and bounce off of a wolf and there ain't no telling where he's at? I don't know, I'm thinking that we might have to get the rifle out because I could I could take the foot the the blah, 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 can't talk today. I could take the deer down with the rifle because you know, it doesn't have near as much of a drop. Oh, you little punk. Well, this is a good time to look at the swim mechanics on the deer. Eh. So, just out of curiosity, can I push the deer through the water? He swims faster than me. I'll give him that. He seems to not like the fact that I'm following him. You know, we're actually gaining on him. That's odd. I didn't think we... Well, we were, and now, now he decided to go this way. No, you go over here by my base. Maybe I can trap you inside my walls. Ah, keep going.
Where are you at? And I know not to shoot him in the water because we just won't harvest him at all. Okay. He is at our base. Oh. Now the question is, is how do we... He's right there at the entrance. Out of all the places he could have stopped... Okay, so let's get up here. Okay, where did he go? Did I spook him? I might have spooked him. Um, we have magic deer. Where did he go? Uh oh. Here we go. Y'all hold still. Quit moving so much. Uh, you know what? Fine. Haha, <laughs> stupid hunters. <sighs> Messing up my deer hunt. I had him. I had him trapped. Now I don't know where he's at. No, that's a wolf. Okay, so yeah, I have no clue where this deer went. He was there. We went around the rock and he was gone. So I would say that I spooked him here. He ran. And because I was trying to distance myself. He either ran back into the water and swam. Or he ran out this way. Either way, we've seen the deer. We know they're there. We know they're still spawning in. They are a pain to hunt. At least with the... At least with the bow. I am not a fan of bow hunting these deer. Yeah, yeah, shotgun shell. Now we can at least, you know, protect ourselves for one more day. And that's literally the bad part about all this is we are totally out of shotgun shells. And I have enough to... I have enough stuff to make a handful more shotgun rounds, but... I haven't decided if I want to or if I'm going to switch weapons for a little bit or what exactly we got going on because I mean we got a little bit more defense and like I said if we switch over to the rifle I can start shooting things at a distance much better so eh, one of those things we'll just have to wait and see how things go and how we how we figure everything out guys but that is going to do it for today's video I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, guys, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It's an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself, guys. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment to thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared, guys. It is awesome. I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.